CH. I'm the LED driver IC product manager at Macropa. With continuing updates of LED display applications, people want better display performance, both commercial displays and the consumer electronic for entertainment need quality displays to show clear and more true to life images. In 2023, Macrobot will take you to the next gen display era with driver IC solutions for XR, VP, and the super 5 pitch display applications. As display applications keep on diverging for P1.2 to P2.5 mm applications, XR and VP has the most stringent driver IC spec requirements. We want to create true to life experiences with virtual reality integration to achieve glassless 3C 3D and uh, color resolution for pitch 0.4 to pitch 1.2 mm applications. Indoor and semi-indoor super 5 pitch displays continue to challenge IFCs. As XR applications challenge new frontiers, Microbot has solved such issues as scanline, roadway flicker, and uh, display latency with 7680 Hz refresh rate. The latest challenges include multi-camera XR and high frame rate VP. It's about challenging the toughest XR and VP applications with fine pitch LED display technology. We integrate virtual and reality with rendering technology by increasing the display's input and output frame rate. We optimize rendering performance and boost rendering amounts, which in turn improve the immersiveness for film shooting and playback. Shooting at high frame rate is a must due to the growing demand for rendering amount and virtual effect. Multi-camera refers to display two or more renderings on the same display. As cameras check, a certain rendering background will only be shot by a significant camera. For example, boosting false tolerance with green screen to decrease post-production cost. If the display only supports 60 FPS output, it can only support two cameras that capture simultaneously each of the cameras can only capture 30 fps rendering source by adding the third camera each camera gets only 20 fps rendering source the finished picture will look disjointed if the display supports 16 bits 7680 refresh rate and 240 fps inputs existing virtual production can have up to four cameras for full rendering effects slashing the number of takes with actors and reducing the time cost with a multi-camera setup we can see the rendered background from the correct angle such as statue of liberty the Great Wall and the Pyramid in the frame. Shooting will be more flexible. The first attempt to shoot at a high frame rate is a multi-camera setup for XR application. The second XR and VP application is the small motion. With a single camera setup, 240 images can be shot per second with a display enabling 240 fps input and output. If we play back the 240 images captured with 4 times per unit time, for example, playing back 60 captured images per second, the images shot at the regular speed. But the video playback time is extended by four times. Performance will be much easier for actors with enhanced reality of capture images at slow motion. Having solved issues including scanline, 
your way flicker and the display latency. Mapovot continues to address challenges of increasing frame rate for higher standard virtual production. Therefore, the display's ability to support high frame rate source and the display has become an other challenge. The key to high frame rate and the challenge to drive IC is the core frequency. To support 60 FPS output, 16 bit grayscale, and 64 scans, we need no less than 240 MHz core frequency. Traditional driver ICs support high frame rate at the expenses of grayscale or refresh rate. Mufflebox driver ICs feature proprietary technology based on common CASOC artifacture and the frequency boosting DLL technology, which can forcefully reproduce 16 bits grayscale, uh, 7680 flash rate, and 240 FPS sources to meet premium rental XR and VP studio demands. As display performance continues to improve, the figure shows that a 16 scan artifacture with 16 bits grayscale needs an upgrade to 240 FPS from 60 FPS and a core frequency of 240 MHz. Therefore, to further enhance grayscale performance, we need to significantly increase the core frequency. While the super fine pitch market continues to grow with a corresponding resolution jump, the challenges will definitely become tougher. As the resolution increases to 4K and 8K from 4HD, resolutions double. The Ping'an Finance Center Shang is an iconic building. To shoot it with a premium camera without performance loss, you need the resolution that supports the camera pixel counts. You cannot display the whole picture without hurting picture quality. With resolution jumping from 2 million pixels in 4HD, to 8 million in 4K and to 33 million in 8K. More details and contents can be shown. Currently, 48 channel IC is the mainstay of 5 pitch market. To display full HD images, we need 4000 ICs with 48 channels and 32 scans. For 4K and 8K, we need 16,000 and 65,000 ICs, respectively. We can slash the number of ICs by 60% to 70% with 90 scan designs. With IC featuring 100 channels or more, we will definitely combine VGA packaging with modules. One. It's hard to repair VGA packaging modules. 2. Repairing LED module will be likely damage them. For example, causing faulty LEDs. And 3. Modules are expensive. Regular IC packaging limits the number of scans, which has to do with the core frequency. How will Mufflebox address Gigabyte challenge in 2023? How will Gigabyte core frequency affect driver ICs? As core frequency significantly increases, the sound problems such as ghost effect, color shift, and low grade scale, thin line, and high contrast interference might appear again. If the core frequency increases, but the voltage waveform responses time falls to meet the necessary responses, such as charging and discharging time, voltage level, and the characteristic capacitance impact will affect the display image. In 2023, Microsoft optimized the algorithm with enhanced 
core computing performance to provide our client with just more primitive computing power. Optimized circuit design boosts clock frequency, lower circuit load and reduce signal load propagation delay. Better components improve high frequency stability. The optimized layout cuts signal load transmission noise. Algorithm wise, we cut algorithm execution time, reduce algorithm complexity, minimize computing, and introduce more efficient algorithms to lower the required IC cut frequency at the core. In addition to ensuring basic core frequency and actuary states, Microblock introduced a proprietary algorithm to emulate 8 times core frequency by simulating 240 MHz with 30 MHz. We reduce core load and hence the driver IC power consumption. Similar circuits power consumption mostly comprises dynamic power consumption and static power consumption. Also called switching power consumption. Dynamic power consumption refers to the power consumed by charging and discharging the output node as the circuit switches on and off. A switching affects dynamic consumption. The formula shows the power consumption is directly proportional to the circuit operating frequency and the load capacitance and the square of VDD respectively. Next, we will look at new common castle driver IC solutions announced by Microblock this year. Microblock's common castle artifacts use a proprietary or DLL frequency boosting technology that multiplies core frequency with varying phase delays, which boost frequency in driver ICs for improved specification and the result of LED displays. MBI5762 with common KSR RT feature featuring frequency boosting DLL technology works with common 7680 refresh rate R and the hypervision calculation to provide excellent low-grade display results. We believe it's the ideal choice for you, RXR and VP fine pitch displays. The figures show how displays performance MBI5762 is. We can see the gradient become smoother. There are no display issues such as blocks or vertical strips at grayscale 1 while brightness of 0.06 nits. The video shown the hypervision calculation feature. As we shoot our display with a camera, we can see flickers at where the brightness and the dark areas meet with the feature off under the low grayscale situation. Turning on the feature effectively improves low grayscale frequency. The 48 channel 20 scan MBI5780 supports 90 scans by the scan sharing artifacture, providing pitch 1.2 to pitch 0.4. Displays with excellent performance 16 bits, 7680 Hz. 120 fps and the minimal 0.1 milliamp current combines makes its optimal common casual solution for the super fine pitch displays. Thanks to the scan sharing artifacture supporting 90 scans, we only need 5,800 ICs for 4K resolution. The thermal imaging shown excellent power consumption. There is only 4 degree difference between IC and non-IC areas. Temperature of PCB is less than 40 degree. The sub 100 microamp figure shows less than plus or minus 
one percentage variance between ICs and a sub one percent variance between channels. Minimal driving curing is precise with excellent results. Microbot announced MBI 5762 for XR and the VP application. The 48 channel 32 scan IC supports 240 FPS sources with application pitch from pitch 4 to pitch 0.8 mm and bring excellent visual performance of 16 bit grayscale and 7680 Hz refresh rate. Designed for super fine pitch and mini micro LED applications, MVI 5780 is a driver IC featuring 48 channels and a scan sharing RT feature. The highly integrated 90 scan driver ICs supports pitch 0.4 mm applications with equally excellent display performance. In 2023, Microbot continues to address a high frame rate issues of XR and VP while provides super fine pitch display applications with improved solutions by the solving thermal and the power consumption issues. Thank you.